Ooh. Hi, guys. Dianita, you look fabulous today. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. morning. Hi, Janet. How are you? Pretty good, teacher. Pretty good? Okay, that's awesome. That's nice to hear that. Oh, my God. Where are you going after uh, class, Dianita? Are you going to a date or a party? <laughs> oh. Yay. Um, I am working. Oh, you're working. I was working. Ah, you were working, really? Yes. So you came. Yes. You recently came from work. Hmm. And where do you work? Where do you work? I work um in super mall. In the super mall? Uh huh. Yes. Oh, is this near your house? Nearby? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. But I think you should work in a hair salon or something like that because you look nice today. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And where do you live, Dianita? Where do you live? Um, I live in Ciudad Arce. Oh, oh I mean, that means like near Santa Ana, right? No. Um, it, no, it's in La Libertad. In oh, La Libertad. really? So it's really hot. Oh, sí. Oh, Aquí no. Siendo... Really? really? Oh, my God. Today, I, because I work from 7 to 5, uh, I have another job. Se lluvia? Raining. Ah, está... It's, it's raining. Rain. It's raining. Yeah. Yes. Me, yeah, here uh -huh. it rains too. You know what? I but just I, heard I, I just heard I, uh -huh. uh, it's raining. Yeah, I it's love so it. I love it because uh, you can go back to sleep and you sleep really good. Yes. I um, love it. Yes. Uh, but you know what? I prefer that loves that rains hard because when it rains just a little bit, after that, there's like a more hot, right? Um, I love hot. You love it? Oh, no, no, no. No. In my yes, case, no. <laughs> yeah, really? I think maybe because you're I already used to it. I don't like, I don't like frío, como se dice? How you say that in English, Janet? How you say that? Um, I don't like. Maybe it can be, uh, I don't like uh, the cold. Yeah, the cold places. Remember, cold, C O L D, cold. cold. Because if you say cool, that means woo woo. Oh, you really? And you know what? I love cold places. I had to get used to the Salvador's weather because, like, really tropical weather. Woof. Yes. Yeah. But I like it. I, I do like it. But I prefer hey, cold weather. Yes. Today yes. I almost I almost like woof because I don't know what what happened, but today was a really hot, a hottest day that I have ever feel. Uh, really hot. Ugh. Wow. Oh my god, somebody's like listening to a song. I think it was frozen, right? Is it a frozen song? No? I thought it was frozen. <laughs> I love that uh, that movie. I love it. Hey, you see, oh, no, 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 no. I was almost saying that we will be only girls as usual, but no, you know what? We have Carlos Antonio as well. So he arrived in Gerardo as well. Oh, my God. Okay, so we have Danita, Janet. We have Eileen. We do have uh, 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 Mr. Carlos Antonio. Arazeli, and we do have Esmeralda. That's good. That's good. Hey, Miss Araceli Rodriguez, how are you? I think she's she's not using her her earphones, so I think she cannot uh, listen to me right now. Hey, but I have Gerardo. Yes, Gerardo, how are you, Gerardo? Hi. Hi, teacher. Thank you. And you? Ah, very good. How was your training? Um, so so. So so why? <laughs> uh, I have I have well no no I make I make 20, you made I made twenty five kilometers in the Tw morning twenty five kilometers so you can say you can say you made but also you can use another verb you can use for okay. example I reached 
I reached. Ah, okay. I reach up to. I reach up to. That means you only do that. That that is an amount of kilometers. So you said okay. I reach up to twenty five kilometers. Reach to. Reached. Yes. How can okay, I can. Yeah. I, I reach. I reach up to twenty five kilometers. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, there you go. Kilometers. I reach. Okay, I reach up to. Yeah, that that means uh, that is a phrasal verb, Gerardo. That means that it was the highest that that you can do today. Okay. okay. The, your limit for today. Okay. That Thank that you. is what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and you can use it not only for talking about exercises all the distance that you that you walk or that you ride in a bicycle, you can also use it for different things. For example, if you're going to swim and you are diving, diving, remember, when you go inside the ocean, also you can talk about that, about distance, about why, about everything. You can use that verb as well, reach out. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Uh -huh. Hey guys, let me ask you something because uh, on the on the Gmail that I, I think all of you received um, before the classes of yesterday, uh, you have a WhatsApp link, right? Yes. Let me ask you: Did everybody already yes. uh, inside the WhatsApp? Is everybody there? Because yes. I use it a lot. And sometimes during the class, I send you activities there. So I want everybody to be here. Let me check. Da, 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 da. Let me check who, who I have here. Uh, 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 I have Araceli, yes. Uh, 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 I have Juan Carlos Ramirez. I have Eileen here. I have Mr. Gerardo Surham, yes. Janet, I have Jessica, Loida. But I'm missing somebody. Eileen, I, I think I don't have you. Yep. So please, I want everybody there. And, but before, okay, I'm gonna give you like, let me check, two minutes so you can log in, okay? Okay. Or, or would you want me guys to send you the link for the WhatsApp here on the chat? Yeah, would be, would be much better? Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me send it to you. I will send it to you to the chat because I want everybody to be there. Because I use the WhatsApp a lot during the classes. Okay, I send you the link through the chat, to the Zoom chat. It's already there. So if you're not there, just click on it and accept the invitation, please. Danita, are you already on the WhatsApp? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Tell me something. What's what's your what's your phone number? Let me check if I have it here, so I can like customize it. Danita, may I have your phone number? The last four digits. I think Danita doesn't understand me. Danita. Yeah. yeah, I just want to know what which are the last four digits of your cell phone. Okay. I just want to know, okay, because you're here okay. right in the WhatsApp, right? Yeah. Okay, which are the last four digits? Cuales son los últimos cuatro dígitos de tu cell phone? Um me entiendes it is because i already have the whatsapp group here guys but i just want to know which ones are here so i can put your names because everybody's here but it's not the name on it seven seven um six 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 okay cool Mm, okay, 7766. So let me check it out. I'm going to put it Diana. And your last name will be Montoya, right? 
All right, there you go. Okay, I have you here. There you go, that's what I know. Uh, I don't have here. Eileen, what's your phone? Oh yes, I have you. The phone number is in 2549, okay, cool. Uh, Steffi, are you already here in the WhatsApp group? Yes, yeah. I am. May, may I know the last four digits of your cell phone, please? Okay, 7104. 7104, let me check if I have it here. Oh, yes. All righty. So I'm going to put your name. It's going to be Mrs. Stephanie. Mrs. Tubbany will be your last name, Ramirez. All right, there you go. Oops, I think I misspelled this. All right, cool. Okay, Stephanie. There you go. Okay, I have Stephanie here already. Woohoo! Yes, Sirham is here. All righty, Miss Flor Moja de Garcia. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Yes, hi. Okay. Hey, what we're doing right now, Flori, is that we're double checking if everybody's here in the WhatsApp because I need you to be here. Because sometimes during the class or as a homework, I send information through the WhatsApp group. So I want everybody to be here. But I'm just checking who is here already. And could you let me know, Flori, which are the last four digits of your cell phone? Yes, uh, 1126. 1126, I think I saw that one. Let me check. 11. Oh, yes, you're the last one. <laughs> yes, okay, good. All right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to put it right now. Yes. Four. Four angel last name, Moja. All right. Moja. All right, good. Excellent. All right, I have here. Uh, let me check who's missing. Esmeralda, what about you? Um, may I have uh, the last four name. digits? Or are you, are you there or no? No, no yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. May I have please your last the last four digits of your cell phone, please? Is seven five six two. Seven five six two. All right. Let me check. Seven five six two. Well, to, to to be honest with you, I don't have any everybody anybody here like that way. Seven five six two seven nine nine seven. Oh, that's what I need. The seven nine nine seven. Then the last four digits. Okay, seven nine nine seven. Okay, let me check. Oh yes, there you go. I have you here. So let me put Esmeralda. Esmeralda, which your last name will be? Rodriguez. Yes. Rodriguez. There you go. Okay. Okay. So I have here on Carlos. Uh, Gerardo, I have you here. Carlos Antonio. Hello, sir. I think I don't have you here on my, on my cell phone. Hello, teacher. Hello. My last, my yes. last four number is there. Yes. There are um, 6009. 6009. Okay, let me check. Yes. Oh, yes, you're here. Okay, so it will be Carlos Antonio. Oh, Carlitos Antonio, may I have please your last name, if you don't mind? My last name? Yes, please. Uh, Antonio. Antonio is your last name? Uh, yes, my parents. Uh, oh. Ah, last name, yes, sorry, Polanco. Oh, Polanco. Polanco, P-O-L-N-C-O. All righty. Polanco, yes. Oh, okay, that's no, you know, I ask you because Antonio could be also a, a last name. Yes, I, 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 I forgot. <laughs> you forgot? Okay, yes. that's okay. So I'm, I need, uh, who else I need? Janet, I, I, I already have you here. What about Ana Romero? Anita, can I have please your cell phone number if you don't mind? Anita, Anita's here or no? Maybe not, right? Well, she's here, but no. <laughs> okay. All right. In the meantime, when we're waiting for that, I'm going to send you something, guys, and let's discuss, okay? Remember that yesterday we were talking about our activities, right? We're talking about that. Mm -hmm. And do you remember, guys, which are the activities that you mentioned, all of you mentioned? Yes. 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 Y
Do you remember some of them? Uh-huh. One of the time, please. One of the time. Okay, I know, I know. Everybody wants to participate, <laughs> but yes, hold your horses. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so tell me. Uh, we saw uh Uh -huh. Sorry, we saw that we we like to listen to music, mm -hmm. draw anime, yes. exercise, dance, okay. walks, um, watch TV, like the Anita, <laughs> dance choreography, like uh, watch the movies, uh -huh. play soccer, a uh, camping. Okay. Yes. Um. Go to gym, like Alexander. Yes. Do yoga. Do yoga. Do yoga. Okay. Um. Ride a bike. Ride a um, bike. Mm -hmm. Like Gerardo, yes. And me. And, and me you. Like, and I like to sing. Yeah, very <laughs> yes. good, excellent. Yes, that is that is all the activities that we saw. Um, let me check something. Here. Uh, Alexander. Mr. Alexander, welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Hi, may I ask a quick question if you don't mind? Yeah, sure. Could you please be so kind to let me know the last four digits of your cell phone? Sorry, I don't get it. The last four digits, los ultimo cuatro dígitos, the last four digits of your cell phone number? Ah, oh, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it is one, six, Mm -hmm. Zero seven. One six zero seven. Okay. Okay. I think Alexander, uh, are you on the WhatsApp group by any chance or no, right? Maybe not. No. Okay. So do me no. a favor. Uh in the in the soon shot, if you click on the soon shot, you yes. will be able to see that I sent a link there. So just click on that, please, and try to get into the WhatsApp group. Because uh, I want everybody to be there. Okay. okay. Do it and I'll come back with you. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me do okay. something. Let's practice right now the listening part. Okay. Guys, you're going to listen to a conversation right now between two friends. Okay. And this is what I want you to do. And I want you guys to pay attention and tell me. Uh, which are the activities that uh, a boy, yes, does it, okay? What is exactly the activity that this uh, guy or this boy do? That's what I want. Please, don't focus on, on all the conversation. Uh, we're going to start practicing listening for details information. That means that I want you to pay attention to the whole conversation, but don't focus on everything. Try to only catch the answer of my question. In this case, what is the activity that this boy does? That's it, okay? And then I will play it again, and I will ask you another question, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. My goodness. Are you guys ready? Yes. 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 All right. That's the spirit. Come on. Excellent. Energy. All right. Oh, come on. Yes. No way. All right. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. And you let me know if you can listen it. Sex. Can you listen? Yeah or no? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. Pay attention. Okay. I will play it only one time. How often do you exercise? Page 37, exercise three, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. Mm -hmm. 
I guess I'm a real couch potato. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, very good. Okay, so in the conversation, uh, he mentions two activities, right? That he does. Which is the first one? Anybody, anybody can answer. Which is the first one? Swimming. Swimming, very good. That's one of them. Very good, Gerardo. Another one? Do exercise. Do exercise, but but most important or most focalized, he does what? The gym. Lift weights. Lift weights, exactly. Lift weights. Very good. Excellent. So those are the two activities. Mm -hmm. Now I want you guys to pay attention once again. And now I, we already identified the activities. Now I want you to identify how frequently or how often, right, does he do? those activities, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me put it once again. Let's split it again. ED2, unit six. How often do you exercise? Page 37, exercise three, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, very good. So, t may I ask you, how many times per week does he exercise? Five times. Five times. Five times. Five times. Exactly, Five times. like Loida, right? Like Loida, or like Gerardo. Five times a week, woo-hoo, right? That's a lot, exactly. Hey, Ale, Alejandro, nice to meet you. <laughs> I didn't say hi to you. Hey. Also, I have Boris, and also I have Mr. Santiago. Excellent. All righty. So, exactly five times a week. Mm -hmm. What about that? Is the boy right? What about the girl? My kid. Does she exercise? She's like me. She's like who? <laughs> no. Me. Like you, Janet? No, I think it's like the Anita. Right, the Anita? <laughs> because like, the Anita. What is her favorite activity? Do you remember, guys? The Anita on her free um, time. Uh, yesterday, I, I, I like watch TV. Watch TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but, okay, defend yourself. But, uh, oh, I know she's saying that I she likes to do exercise. exercise. <laughs> okay, so that means that you're not couch I potato. <laughs> you usually do. Okay, very good. So, no, Dianita. Okay, 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 stay with Janet. <laughs> All right. So, cow, you know what? That is a um, an idiom, guys, that we have. I'm a couch potato. That means, don't take yes. it literally, okay? That means that you are a, a really lazy person that doesn't want to do any exercise. Like, I know you prefer to watch TV and eat something than go for a walk. You don't, you hate to do exercise. So that is a couch potato. Hey, raise your hand and be honest. How many of you are have couch pot potato? How many? Araceli, and she's proud. I'm a couch potato. So yes, <laughs> that's my, my favorite that I like to eat very okay. much. I oh, okay. Like it. I don't like it too much. Uh, well, but you read. But I the couch, like but the couch like potato is the one that doesn't want to do anything. No, no, no. Uh, so you're not a couch potato. No. Okay, you are semi couch potato. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Who else? Who else? The Anita sometimes, right? <laughs> sometimes Steffi. Okay, okay. I need to be honest with myself sometimes. All right. What about you, Janet? Uh, um, sometimes. Uh, sometimes. So, <laughs> uh, in the last time I walk. Too much. I walked too much, but now 
I don't do it because oh, okay. I, I don't walk from my home to work and, and back. Ah, okay. So you walk back and forward, back and forward. Uh, in the past. Ah, in the past. I, I don't know I, anymore. I did it, but I, I, I don't do it anymore. Why? Because you work from home or because, what? Because, uh, no, uh, I... I have a car, you know. Ah. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. You see, I got it. <laughs> That's good. So now you have a car. So that means I do not walk anymore. I, you know what? I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I have a different lifestyle right now. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a VIP already. Okay. That's good. Uh, in the past, you were a special class one. But now you are a VIP plus. Okay, so that's cool. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loida, you're not a couch potato. You do exercises. <laughs> what about you, uh, Alexander? Are you a couch potato? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I right. used to do exercise. I know, especially with your dogs, right? Outdoors activities. Excellent. Very good. Esmeralda, what about you? What about you, Santiago, Carlitos? What about sorry, you, Alejandra? Sorry, please. Yes, Janet. Sorry, miss. No. Uh, I do exercise with my feet. Really? How come is that? Ah, well. Clouching uh, and, and clouching and, and. No, 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 no. That doesn't count. That stopping. doesn't count. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, okay. At least she just works one part of her body, right? Hey, how you say pantorrillas in English? How you say that? Uh huh. Me. Mm hmm. What does that mean? Uh huh. Knee. Don't Google it. Uh huh. No, uh -huh. knee. No, knee. No, knee or rodillas. Calf. Um, calf. Calf. Are um, you sure? No, no, no. Sure, teacher. I'm not sure. Ah, come on. You gotta be sure. Huh. <laughs> mm hmm. How are you say pantorillas in English? Calves. Calves. Calves, yes. How you write it? How do you write it? Can somebody write another chat? C A L V E S. Almost, almost close, Araceli. Almost. Yeah. And except for the pronunciation. Yes, it's correct. It's correct the way oh. that, you, that you say it, but not the pronunciation. Because remember, oh. we have B as in boy. And V as in Victor, right? So you gotta say oh. C A L V E S. Cow. Calves. Exactly. Calves. So if you said B, in my mind, or in like native speak English speaker, I, I, it's not going to come the V as in Victor. It's going to come the V as in boy. You see? V, V. Look at the mouth, B, V. So you gotta say C-A-L-V-E-S. Araceli, once again, you can do it, girl. You can do it. Yes, C-A-L-V-E-S. Excellent, that's my girl. Woohoo! that's the spirit, you see? <laughs> Practice makes perfection, I told you that. That's good. <laughs> Excellent, very good job. All right, exactly, cows. So Miss Janet works her cows. At least that part, right, Gerard? Well, that's good. Okay, yeah. guys, I'm, now I'm going to send you an information. Let me share right now my screen with you. Uh, 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 yes. Let me share something. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to share right now my screen, and I want you guys to tell me which of these activities you think that the children, the teenager, or the adults do it? Okay, let me check. Can you can you uh, can you all see it, guys? Yeah, can you watch my screen? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. So we have here the activities. Who can help me read it? Thank you so much, Alexander. What? <laughs> Go ahead. Read the activities for me. This ones. Okay. Uh, the first one. All I of think. them. Oh, okay. 
Aerobics. Aerobics, okay, continue. Bicycling. Very good, continue. Bowling. Mm -hmm. Golf. Mm -hmm. Karate. Mm -hmm. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Tennis. Mm -hmm. Baseball and yoga. Excellent, very good, very good. Good pronunciation. Only with karate, it's not karate, it's karate. 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 Yes. Karate. Very good. Okay, now guys, we have the activities here, right? In the red check mark. So if we have at the top, we have children, teens, young adults like you guys, middle aged people like me, and older people. Okay, so may I ask you guys, aerobics, which group aerobics. Do, you, do you think, uh, which one practice aerobics? Is only for children? No. no. Middle aged people. Uh huh, no. middle aged. Okay, who else? Young adults. Young adults, yeah. What about teens? Maybe teens. Yeah. And, and the older people? Do you think? No, Not right? Okay. What about bicycling? Children. 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 Who else? Teens. 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 Okay. Who else? Young adults. Young adults. In middle age? Middle age. Yes. Okay. Middle what about bowling? Uh, young adults. Young adults, okay. Middle aged people. Middle age. Middle age. And that's it, right? Uh, and that's it. What about karate? Teens. Uh, children. 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 Teens. Teens. And young adults. And young adults. adults. What about golf? Young adults, uh, middle aged people, no, and middle aged middle people, age. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's can it. we say older people? Maybe, no. maybe, yes. no, maybe. no, that's a possibility. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Both. what about swimming? Children, Children. Children. Uh -huh. teens, teens, teens. 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 middle aged, age. and older people. I think teens. that maybe that activity. Older. That activity can be practiced uh, with maybe all of the groups, right? All of the ages. Yes. Because yes. this one yes. is a low so. impact exercise. That's why. Very good. What about tennis, guys? What do you think? Uh, young adults. Maybe teens, young adults. Young adults. Uh -huh. uh, middle age. Middle age. Okay. I don't think children and older people. I don't think so. Don't what about teens. volleyball? Uh, children. Teens. Teens. Children. Okay. Children, I think John Adams, no, right? Middle age, no. Uh -uh. What about yoga? I don't think children can practice. That John Adams. John Adams, okay. Middle aged people. Yeah, middle -aged people and a okay. lot of people, and maybe. It. Yeah, and other people. Yes, exactly. All right, very good, guys. Thank you. So, we already have identified some activities that we think that a group of people can practice. Okay, very good. So guys, we have been talking about activities and all the stops because basically um, when we want to express ourselves about what we like to do or how many times we do this or that activity, we are going to, uh, we need to know vocabulary, which in this case is what we have seen right now, you yeah? know, swimming, tennis, volleyball, et cetera. But at the same time, guys, we need to add an extra information to make, to make sense of what we are saying. So in this case, uh, do you remember that we have listened like sometimes, once a week, twice a week, every day, etc. That is what we call, guys, in English, adverse of frequency. But we have two questions that we can ask to, to find out uh, what is the frequently uh, or how many times of, of how frequently of how frequently you do a specific activity. We have used one question right now. Do you remember what is the question that we have formulate? How? How what? How often? Uh, how often? How Very good. Often. How often or how often? how often? How often, for example, do you sing? We can say it, we can ask to Janet. How often do you um go out with your dogs, we can ask Alexander, right? Okay, so that's the first uh, question. How can we answer that question? Okay, we just want to know, guys, how often. That means that when I ask you how often, I want to know that a specific time or a specific amount 
of time that you do that activity. I don't want you to tell me uh, sometimes, no way. If, you, if I ask you how often, I wanna know once a week, twice a week, three times a week. I wanna know a specific quantity, okay? How often? Let me ask, let me share right now my screen with you. Woohoo, yes, very good. Mm -hmm. There you go, okay. Can you see my screen, guys? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So you see, the, let me change another color. How often do you exercise? Hey, this is a WH question or a just no question, guys? WH question. WH question. Okay, so if it's a WH question, the intonation is going to go up or down? Down. Down. Okay, who can help me read? Araceli, yes. Thank you, Araceli. You like to participate in today's class. I like it. <laughs> okay, Araceli, can you please read for me the question? Okay. How often do you exercise? Uh -huh. No, but do me a favor. Try to sound like with question and donation. Do that okay. again. How often do you exercise? Very good. Bravo. That's what I need. That's my girl. Okay. okay. We have one, two, three, four possibilities. Okay. Four possible answers. Steffi, can you please help me read the first sentence? Yes. I lift weight every day. Okay, so you see, I give you the specific quantity every day. That means from Monday to Sunday, right? Every day. Okay, let's do another another way or another way to, ex to express or to answer that question. Um, let me check. Eileen, can you read for me the second sentence? Yes. <laughs> Uh huh, Miss Eileen. Is Eileen here by any chance or no? I don't think she's here, right? I don't think she's here. Okay, let me check. Gerardo, what about you? Yeah. Read for me the second sentence, if you don't mind. Okay, I go jogging once a week. Okay, I go jogging once a week. Guys, I'm not telling you. Let me ask you, am I telling you the day that I go jogging? No. 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 But but I'm telling you that how many times a week I do jogging? How Only many times? One time. Only, one, Only time. one time. Exactly. Only one time. All right. Very good. Because I, you see, guys, when I said how often I want to know the frequency of, uh, of uh, you do on a specific activity. Okay. Can you please read for me, Loida, the third sentence, please? Yes, I play soccer twice a month. Very good. That means that only two times a month she goes and plays soccer. I All play right. soccer. Very yes. good. And the last one, two times. Uh, 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 two times. Mr. Ruano, are you here? Mr. Ruano. Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes, Do me a favor. Hello. Can you read for me the last? Sentence, please. I swing about three times a year. Very good. So that means that only three times in a year you go swimming. Okay. So may I ask you guys before I move on? So far, so good? It is clear like water or like orchata? Be, on, be honest. Uh huh. Like water. Like water. water. Are you yes. sure? Okay. Yes. Okay. So guys, do you remember, you have to remember that when somebody asks you, how often do you exercise? I want to know the quantity. How many times a month? How many times a day? How many times a week? Okay. But guys, there is another way to ask for the frequently of, of how, uh, uh, how you do an activity. But there is another question. I don't know if you already have used it or not, but I will present it to you. So let me just a couple of minutes. Bear with me for a moment. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. Let me switch here and then I will share right now my screen with you. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes. 
There you go. I need to do some movement, so that's why I'm not sharing right now my screen, but I will share it in a moment. Okay, cool. There you go. Now I'm ready. Okay, guys. Okay, take a look. This is all the question. And who can help me read it? Dianita, could you please be so kind to help me read the question? Do you ever watch TV in the, in the yeah. evening? Very good and good intonation, congratulations. So you see guys, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Uh-huh. Yes, that is another, another question. But guys, take a look at this. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? How will you translate this question into Spanish, guys? How are you gonna translate it? Alguna vez. Mm -hmm. Ha visto televisión por las tardes. Oh, in la noche? Yeah, very good. Excellent, exactly. So guys, in that question, am I asking you how many times you do a specific activity or not? No, no. No, I just want to know if you do that activity or not. That's what I want to know. So do you ever watch TV in the evening? Guys, what type of question is this? Is it a just now question or is it a WH question? Yes, no, no question. As a just no question, yes, yes no. because you see, we have here the immediate answer, right? Yes, coma. All right. So, guys, in this particular question, you are going to use not two times a week, three times a week, four times a week. No way. What you're going to use is what we call adverse of frequency. Sometimes, hardly ever, never. All right. Some often. Do you know what does it mean, guys? Yes. Okay. That means that you do it frequently. What about sometimes? A little. Okay. <laughs> yes. Vez. What about hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi nunca. And never. Nunca. Nunca. All right. Repeat after me. Let's practice the pronunciation. Often. Often. often, or also you can often. say often, okay? Often. Sometimes. Often. Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. 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 Never. Never. Ever. Never. 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 Okay, and there's something here that I want to show it to you. Hey, uh, can, can you see these two sentences? Yes? Like yes. Sometimes, this specific other of frequency, guys, you can use it um, in the middle of the sentence like this. I sometimes watch TV before. Or also, guys, you can put it at the beginning of the sentence. And grammatically, will be correct. And it is also the same meaning. Okay? I just want you to know that. Because that, you can use it in that way. Also guys, there is another adverb of frequency that you can use at the beginning of the sentence besides sometimes. And the adverb of frequency is usually as well. You can say usually I exercise before work, okay? You can also do that. Hey, do you remember guys, another adverb of frequency that we haven't mentioned? Always. Almost oh. always. Almost always. Almost. Yes. Always, always. Look who I have here. Almost never. Almost oh. never. Oh yes. She wants to be in her class in the class. Hey guys. <laughs> How are you? Okay. What's her name? Her name is Sassy. 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 Okay, Sassy. Let's go. Stay here, okay? Let's play. She's two months and a half. Ah, it's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby girl. Yeah. Okay. Very good, guys. Uh huh. So now we're going to practice. Okay. Let's practice the speaking activity because for homework, guys, I will send you through the WhatsApp a writing activity. That means that everybody has to be there. Okay. Don't say, teacher, I'm sorry, I didn't receive the homework. Oops, I didn't do it. No way. You gotta be in the WhatsApp, okay? Okay, guys, and this is the game. And it's a memory game, okay? 
you can also, you can, for example, let me let you know how we're going to do that. I can ask Loida, for example, how often do you exercise? And she's gonna give me an answer, right? But if I said, how often do you do exercise? I want Loida to let me know once, uh, once a week, twice a week, twice a week, etc. okay? Okay, we're going to practice with the first question, how often? And then we're going to practice with the second question. Okay, do you ever? Okay, but guys, <laughs> we're going, this is not going to be as easy as it seems. <laughs> sure, yes, of course, because you gotta have memory. For example, I said, <clears throat> I, I do exercise three times a week, okay? And I said, how about you, Lloyda? How, how often do you exercise? How are you going to answer, Lloyda? I exercise uh -huh. uh, four times per week. Okay, so, okay. So, and then <clears throat> I'm going to ask. Oh, and then Lloyda is going to say, the teacher exercise three times a week. I exercise four times a week. Okay. And then Loida will pick anybody in the classroom and she say, hey, Gerardo, how often do you exercise? And he's going to say it that frequently. So now when, when it's Gerardo's turn, he's going to say, okay, the teacher exercise, tan, tan, tan. Loida exercise, tan, tan, tan. Me, I do exercise, tan, tan, tan. And he's going to pick, and Janet, how often do you exercise? Oh my God. Okay, so do you understand? Oh, that's a game, that's so a game we'll of never, memory. Never, never forget Remember. that question. How often do you exercise? <laughs> I guarantee you, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna forget it. Okay, okay, so let's start, okay? <clears throat> yes, I, I'm going to choose that question because we can ask for any activity, guys. For example, we can say, how often do you go to the beach, for example? But no, let's let's stay with the exercise, okay? Let's stay with the exercise. Okay, so um, I exercise uh, two times a week. Loida, how often do you exercise? We cannot hear you, Loida. Your, your microphone is mute. I exercise four times a week. Okay, so now you have to repeat my information and give your own information and ask somebody else. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher uh, do exercise three times a week. Two times, two times a week. Mm -hmm. I exercise four times a week. Okay, now choose anybody in the in the classroom. Anybody. Ooh, pay attention, guys. And Flor, how often do you exercise? I knew it. Teacher, Teacher. exercise two times uh -huh. week. Uh -huh. <laughs> four exercise four. Uh-huh. Four times per week. Four four times the week. Uh-huh. And you? In me? In you and in me. Uh-huh. Exercise work in the Ah, so but how many times? One, two, three times a week. Um, three. Three times a week. Okay. Three. three. Okay. Now, Flori, ask the question. How often do you exercise? But ask to anybody in the classroom. Pick another student. Um, how often do you exercise, Janet? Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Flori. Yay! Teacher, uh -huh. teacher, do exercise two times a week. Two times a week. Loira, okay. mm -hmm. do exercise four times a week. Mm -hmm. Flor, do exercise three times a week. And I do exercise one, one time a week. One, no, what times? One time a week. A week. What times a week? Okay. Or, or you can say once in a week. 
once in a once week. Once in a week. Okay. Uh, I thought you were going to say hardly ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Hardly ever, yes. <laughs> and Alejandro says, <laughs> all right. Okay, Janet, now is your turn. Ask anybody else. Okay. Um, Alexander, <laughs> how often do you uh, do exercise? <laughs> <laughs> I exercise five times per week. No. Okay. Now you're going to. You need to repeat my information, Lord information, for okay. information, and everybody's information. Teacher, uh, teacher exercise two times a week. Mm -hmm. um, Lord exercise three times a week. Uh -uh. Uh, four times mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. I'm Lord, helping you. Uh, exercise three times a week. Uh huh. Very good. Yeah. Janet, exercise one time a week. Uh huh. And you? And I exercise five times a week. Very good. Now formulate the question to anybody in the classroom. Okay. Araceli, how often do you exercise? <laughs> okay. Teacher, do exercise two times a week. Uh huh. Very good. Loida, uh, do exercise four times a week. Mm -hmm. Floor, you exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Janet, do it once a week. Mm -hmm. Alexander, do exercise five times a week. I never do exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alicia is sincere. I do I exercise zero yes. times a week. <laughs> Zero time. <laughs> okay, very good, <laughs> excellent. Now, Alarsoli, ask the question to anybody. Okay. Let me see your names. Um, Stephanie. Stephanie, yay. Okay, Stephanie, it's your turn. <laughs> how often do you exercise? Very good. Teacher, do exercise three times uh, a week. Two. Loida two. do exercise oh, yeah. two times a week. Uh -huh. Loida do exercise four times a week. Uh -huh. uh, do do er exercise three times a week. Janet uh -huh. uh, do exercise once a week. Uh -huh. Alex do exercise five times a week. And uh, Araceli. Do exercise zero, zero times a week. And me, I do exercise uh, three times a week. Oh, yeah. oh, fantastic. Yeah, okay. You can ask uh, the question to anybody else. Pick anybody else. Uh, Diana, Diana, how often do you exercise? Do you exercise? Okay, let's listen um, the truth, sorry. <laughs> teacher, do you exercise two, two times a week? Uh -huh. Loida, do you exercise four times a week? Mm -hmm. Flor, do you exercise three times a week? Mm -hmm. Janet, do you exercise uh, one size a week. Mm -hmm. Alexander, do you exercise five times a week? Mm -hmm. um, Araceli, do you exercise um, zero mm -hmm. times a week? Um, <laughs> Steffi? 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 Uh, do you exercise uh, three, three times a week? Mm -hmm. um, and me? And me? Uh, do you exercise twice a twice? No. <laughs> twice a month. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> three times. Ah, three times a week. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Alicia is honest. Okay, very good. Okay, <laughs> Dianita, now ask the question to anybody else in the classroom. We still have Ruano, Boris, Eileen, Esmeralda, Carlos Antonio, Gerardo, and Alejandra. Um, Eileen. Eileen. Miss Eileen, are you here? Houston, we do have a problem here. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Okay, cool. Okay. So listen to the question. Do you often... How often? <laughs> how often do you exercise? Uh -huh. um, Eileen? 
teacher do exercise two times a week. Mm -hmm. Loida do exercise four times a week. Flor do exercise three times a week. Janet uh, do exercise one time a week. Mm -hmm. Alexander do exercise five times a week. Araceli do exercise zero times a week. <laughs> Stephanie do exercise three times a week. Diana do exercise three times a week. And I do exercise three times a week. Wow, fantastic. What a memory, Eileen. Woo! Excellent. Araceli is the easiest one, right? <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Okay, now Eileen, ask the question to anybody else in the classroom. We're still missing Gerardo and Alejandro and Esmeralda. How often do you exercise Gerardo Rivera? Thank you. Okay. Uh, teacher, do you exercise two times a week? Mm -hmm. Loida, to exercise four times a week. Floor, three times, do exercise three times a week. Jennifer, to exercise once, uh, once times a week. Alex, to exercise five times a week. Araceli, do never times a week. Zero, uh -huh. <laughs> Stephanie, do exercise three times a week. Diana, do exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Aileen, do exercise three times a week. And I do exercise five times a week. Wow, like Mr. Alexander. Okay, excellent. Uh, Mr. And now, Gerardo, could you please be so kind to ask the question to Mr. Ruano? Okay, Ruano, uh, how often do you exercise? Okay, uh, teacher, two times. Two times a week. Mm -hmm. Teacher, to, teacher do exercise two times a week. Mm -hmm. Loida do exercise four times a week. Mm -hmm. Flor do exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Janet do exercise one time a week. Mm -hmm. Alex do exercise five times. A week. Mm -hmm. Araceli do exercise zero times a week. <laughs> Stephanie do exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Diana do exercise three times a week. Aileen do exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Gerardo do exercise five times a week. Mm -hmm. And I and me? exercise uh, and me exercise do exercise. Three times a week. Three times a week. Okay, we're good. Excellent. Okay, who's the next victim? Sorry, the next participant. Uh, uh, Boris, what about you, Boris? Here. Okay, uh, Mr. Rano, can you please ask the question to Boris? Okay, Boris, how often do you exercise? Okay, uh, teacher, uh, do exercise two times a week. Mm -hmm. Loira, do exercise four times a week. Floor do exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Janet uh, do exercise one times a week. Alexander uh, do exercise five times a week. Araceli uh, she never does <laughs> exercise. Uh -huh. uh, Stephanie do exercise three times a week. Uh, Diana uh, do exercise three times a week. Aileen do exercise three times a week. Gerardo do exercise five times a week. Rano do exercise three times a week. And I do exercise five times a week. Oh my goodness. I think guys, the guys have more energy than the girls. Oof, that's not possible. Okay, uh, Boris, can you please formulate the question and ask the same question to Alejandra? Okay, Alejandra, uh, how often do you do exercise? Now it's your turn, my baby girl. Woo okay, the teacher do exercise two times a week. Loida do exercise four times a week. Mm -hmm. Flor do exercise three times a week. 
Janet do exercise once in a week. Alexander do exercise five times a week. Araceli do exercise one in a week. Uh, zero in a zero, week. Uh -huh. Excuse oh me, excuse God. me, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stephanie do exercise three times in a week. Diana do it three times in a week. Eileen do exercise three times a week. Gerardo do exercise five times a week. Mm -hmm. Rano do exercise three times a week. And Boris do exercise five times a week. What and about me, you? Mm -hmm. I five two. I exercise two times a week. Two times a week, like the teacher. Okay, very good. That's yeah. the spirit. Excellent. <laughs> Can you ask the same question to Carlos Antonio, please? Okay. Carlos, how often do you exercise? Carlitos Antonio Polanco. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I exercise never. <laughs> ne like 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 at a cell is zero. Okay, yes, but, zero, but you but you zero. can start with me and, and the rest of the students. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. Uh, the teacher, do do exercise two times a week. Mm -hmm. Loida, four times uh, do exercise four times a week. Mm -hmm. Floor, do exercise three times a week. Uh, Janet do exercise one times a week. Alex, uh, uh, do exercise five times a week. Mm -hmm. Araceli is similar to me, zero times a week. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, do exercise three times a week. Diana, uh, do exercise three times a week. Eileen, three, uh, do exercise three times a week. Uh, Gerardo, uh, do exercise five times a week. Mm -hmm. Run, uh, do exercise three times a week. Boris, uh, do exercise five times a week. Alejandra, uh, do exercise two times a week. And me, uh, never. Never, hardly ever. Okay, Esmeralda. Thank you, Galitos. I'm sorry, girl, but you're the last one. So you might have a really huge memory, right? <laughs> yeah, but, but you know what? We already like finished about how often and how often. Now, in your case, I want you to practice the second question. Do you remember what is the second question, guys? Uh, do you ever? Yeah. Do you ever? But, but everybody's saying that uh, you do exercise in a week, right? So you can say, do you ever exercise in the week or during the week, right? Okay, so you can ask, uh, uh, Esmeralda is going to ask you that question, guys, and you will need to answer either with sometimes, uh, hardly ever, never, uh, always, usually, etc. okay? Those are the hours of frequency, okay? When she formulates the question, I don't want you to let me know how many times a week, no. I just want you to use the hours of frequency. That's it. Okay, Esmeralda, the microphone is all yours. Huh? Ah, the question. Yes. Okay, for example, I can ask you, Esmeralda, do you ever exercise during the week? Do you ever? Um, uh -huh. I for at least one time. In, one, in a week. one time, okay. So if you say one time, you can say uh, hardly ever, right? <laughs> Hardly yeah. ever, because that means like not so frequently, like Miss Janet, right? For example, <laughs> or in this case, like Araceli and Carlitos Pineda. Never. Never. <laughs> you see, <laughs> never. Okay. Never. Okay. Okay, Beatriz. So, are you ready to formulate that question to your classmates? No. Yes. You're right. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're ready. Go ahead. Write the question in the chat. Ah, come on. Uh-huh. Okay, I will write it. I'm a good teacher just because of you. Huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All righty. Okay, but I'm going to put to everybody. Okay. Do you ever um, exercise during 
and during the week. Okay, let me check this one really quickly. Do you ever, no, do you ever do, do you ever do exercise, do you ever do exercise? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. There you go, okay. Okay, question. Okay, um, Janet, do you ever do exercise during a week? Uh, har uh, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay, very good. Okay, now Janet, formulate the question to somebody else. Um, mm. Gerardo. I knew it. <laughs> do you ever do you ever do exercise during a week? Yes, I. Uh, ever, ever, ever exercise in the week. Ever? No. No. You do it every day. So what is the other frequency? Uh, every day. Every day. Oh, you can say it always. Always. Okay, and because thanks. every day is how often. Oh, okay. Okay. But if he says asking you, do you ever? That means that you need to use yeah. other frequency. Okay. So answer, please. Answer okay. once again. Give the answer once again, Gerardo. Okay. Yes, I always in the week. I always exercise. I always exercise in the week. Very good, excellent. Now, Gerardo, formulate the question to anybody else. Um, uh, to the Anita, Loida. for example. Ay, Loida. Okay. <laughs> okay, do you, Loida. <laughs> do you ever, no one knows the answer. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever exercise in the week, Loida? Yes, I do. I exercise every week you can say it always always mm -hmm. very good thank you now ask as the question to araceli please <laughs> araceli do you ever do exercise during a week no, i never do exercise very good okay <laughs> she's on it very good okay araceli but, ask the, but yes. i read but i read Every day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's she the exercise her brain. Oh, her brain, oh. exactly. <laughs> that is a, that is not a, a, a different type of kind of exercise, right? Okay. It's a mental exercise. All right. Araceli, can you formulate the question to Carlos Antonio Polanco, by the way? <laughs> Carlos Antonio, how? No. Do you ever? No. no. Do you ever do exercise in the week? No, I never exercise on the week. Well, he's honest. Okay, you too. All like right. Me. Like, like me. exactly like Arazeli. Carlitos, can you formulate the question to Diana? Diana, sorry, Diana. Diana. It's, it's in Spanish. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you ever exercise uh, uh, four times in the, in the week? Four times. Yeah. <laughs> no. During a week. During a week? Mm hmm. I usually do exercise a week. Very good, Dianita, excellent. Now formulate the question to Alejandra, please. Alejandra, do you ever do exercise during a week? I do exercise sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Ale, formulate the question to Alexander, please. Okay, Alexander, do you ever do exercise during a week? Doing. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do? I mm -hmm. I always do exercise. Oh, yes, excuse me. Okay, Alexander, <laughs> can you formulate that, that question to Eileen, please? Sure. Uh, Eileen, uh, do you ever do exercise during a week? Yes, I do. Sometimes I do exercise during the week. Very good. Eileen, can you formulate a question to Floor, please? Lord, do you do you ever do exercise during the week? Thank you. Uh -huh. I hardly ever <laughs> exercise. No, you said three times a week. So that means sometimes. Usually. Or no. Ah, usually. Okay, very good. Usually. That's good. Okay, now yes. Flori, formulate the question to Boris. Boris, do you ever do exercise in the week? Mm-hmm. 
Yes, I do. I always do exercise. <clears throat> Excuse me. And last but not least, Mr. Boris, could you please be so kind to formulate the question to Mr. Ruano? Okay, Mr. Ruano, do you ever do exercise during a week? Yes, Mr. I sometimes. You sometimes? Exercise a week. Okay, cool. Okay, sometimes. guys, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Excellent. So guys, very good. Now let me ask you, was it easy to put in practice the adverse of frequency? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. yes. You see, I yes. told you that you're gonna be you're gonna have easy grammar with me. Because I wanna uh, I want you to 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 see that it's not sometimes everybody's like saying, Oh my god, grammar is like uh, bore. It's not bore. But you you have to have the information here and you have to identify that it's really useful in your daily basis, that you can use your knowledge in your daily basis. It's not something that is writing down on the book and that's it, no way. I want you guys to see how practical is to know the grammar, but you will not ever able to practice that if you don't know how to construct the question, how you can answer each question. And if you don't have give it already, so that's what we have done right now. We have double check the type of activities. We also have double check how you can answer if they formulate how often do you, or also we have seen the adverse of frequency and you use them when they ask you, do you ever? Okay, so we have practice and guys, we have practice pronunciation and also question intonation because how often is a WH question intonation oh. goes down. And do you ever? They just no question intonation goes up. Okay, now this is going to be the funny part. It's going to be easy peasy queasy. This exercise that I'm gonna send it to in a couple of minutes. Basically guys, what I want you to do is going to be like one, two, three, four, five mini dialogues. Five mini dialogues. And basically you will have the question and the answer. So what I want you to do basically guys, is just to uh, put the adverse in the correct place of the question or in the correct place of the sentence. And you don't have to invent yourself because the adverb that you're going to use, it is next to the question or next to the answer in parentheses. So all that you gotta do is use that adverb of frequency and just write down or rewrite again the question and the answer. That's it. Hey, I sent it to you to the WhatsApp. Did you guys receive it? Hopefully everybody's in the WhatsApp. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay cool. Why you're gonna do it? Because tomorrow we're going to do the mini dialogues, right? Ugh, teacher. Yes, we're going to practice. I told you that you gotta practice with me. Yes, tomorrow we're going to dedicate guys to the speaking and also to the intonation with direct addresses. That's what we're going to double check tomorrow. But um, before we continue, may I ask you, any questions so far? Any doubts? Yes? No question. No question? Everything's clear like water? Yes, teacher. OK, cool. That's awesome. OK, guys, I wish you a lovely oh. night and sweet dreams. And hopefully it will rain, right? Because you will be able to sleep. <sighs> very well and like pamper you know what in pamper it you know what pamper it is no okay of course the pamper is the one that we put on the baby's butts right oh, yes. okay but when somebody says you're pampered that means that they treat you like the baby uh, okay they treat you as a baby that they care about you that they are like consentirlos consentirlos yes okay so basically uh, the rains pamper us because it makes us feel comfortable and sleep like a baby, right? Yes. So hopefully no. the rain pamper you, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, so, sometimes exactly, kind of similar idea, yeah, you're right about that. Okay, guys, so hugs and kisses, bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.